my dear brothers and sisters, when we visit institutions founded by Jesuits, be they schools or be they parishes or be they other centers of education or whatever they are, you'll find somewhere the other printed maybe in the school diaries or somewhere in the college uh, books maybe A M D G. These four letters. These four letters, as I said, beginning means ad maiorem dei gloriam. In English, it means, as I said, for the greater glory of God. This this phrase is attributed to Ignatius. He was so much filled with God that he felt whatever he did has to be not for his own glory, but for the glory of God. He wanted all Jesuits, all our institutions, all our works, be they parishes, social work, whatever it is, that all these works do not in a way glorify men and women who are working with us, but glorify the Almighty because it is for Him that we all do. The full phrase actually is at maiorem dei gloriam in que hominum salutem for the greater glory of God and for the salvation of humanity. How did he, he come to realize this? When he looked into our life before conversion, whatever he did was for himself, for his own glory. He was a good soldier, he wanted to win battles, he wanted to defend his so-called his country, to win for himself glory. But after his conversion, he realized the saints have done so much, how much more can I do for God? So no longer I there, it is God and more. And with that, he began his spiritual journey to Jerusalem. And on the way, he realized at Manresa, Montserrat, how much he did for God. Not for himself, for God's glory. So this is what actually it means. Whatever act, whatever we do, if not sinful, if it is done for God's glory, can benefit our spiritual journey and help us to attain our own salvation and so also help others to attain the salvation. How do, what does it apply for us in our own practical way today? We are at different stages of our life. We may be students, we may be lecturers, we may be teachers, we may be professors, we may work in the slums, we may work in social work, we may work uh, in offices, we may work in the factories, and whatever it is. Whatever we do, if we offer it for God, then it helps us. They may not be spiritual works. If you offer them for God's great glory, they are beneficial for our spiritual growth. Therefore, it is true that when you perform things, maybe performance on the, on the stage, we get we praise. But if you look, remain only at that, and say, oh, we are very happy, we are praises. We forget that all that we do, is not for ourselves, but for God's glory. And in a way, these works, acts, are beneficial for us and for the others. So today, let us reflect on our own life, on our own works, on our own acts, on our own performances, on our own contribution to the Basilica, PAB, whatever it is for others. Are we doing them for our glory? Are we doing them to get name for ourselves? Are we doing them for God's created glory?